Hey guys, get level here, and today we're gonna check out how to display your Twitch chat as an overlay while you're playing a full screen game on one single monitor. That's right, Streamlabs just came out with a new feature that allows us single monitor people, yes, I only have one single monitor and I still stream, to basically still have a look at our Twitch chat while playing a game full screen. So we don't have to be tabbing in and out and looking at OBS or, or like having a smartphone or a tablet to look at chat. All of that is over because now we can have a chat overlay on top of our gameplay. I have to admit, before this option, what I used to do is play my games not in full screen, but at a lower resolution just so I can also have uh, Streamlabs OBS in the background so I can look at chat from there. But now my problems are solved because I can play a game full screen and still have a look at Twitch chat, but also my events list. That's right. If you hear an alert, you don't have to tab out to see who followed, who subbed, who hosted, who rated, who cheered. Okay. Cause you also have an event list that you can have there. So you don't need to tab out ever again. Just look at your chat and look at your events list. You can thank people for following and you can interact with chat at the same time you're playing a full screen game. Anyways, let me go and show you how to do it. It's super simple. Okay, so we're here in Streamlabs OBS. This is my normal um, overlay for that's my starting soon screen, basically. So let's uh, try typing some stuff in chat just so we can have. I have my night bot set up to say hi back when I say hi. Hey, okay. So um, this would be my full screen. This is my hi guys. Welcome to my stream. And then I have my end game overlay okay so right now as you can see this is streamlabs and i'm on a single monitor so if i wanted to play the game i would have to open it so this is what i used to do all right guys let me mute this um this is what i used to do basically i used to have my game not be full screen and have it on the side like that and so i can read chat and i would have to tab out every time there was a an event every time there was a follow or something like that so now what i'm gonna do is put it on full screen apparently it works best with windowed uh windowed borderless but apparently uh i can only have full screen we still get borders here anyways let's go let's tab out go to streamlabs and this is where you activate it okay you're gonna go to settings top right click on the cogwheel click settings and you'll see a new little option here that says game overlay that's what it's called so game overlay and then you can enable game overlay okay game overlay is enabled all right now you can decide if you want to show chat show recent events both uh just one at a time you decide and then here you can check out the position for now so i would have my recent events uh top left and my chat top right for example you can place them wherever you want. Just click and drag, as you can see. Uh, I don't think there's any options for size yet, but hopefully this is something they'll think of uh, in the future. So this is basically positioning mode. And then here you have the opacity. Okay, you can have it like completely opaque or transparent. I'm gonna, I think transparent is the best. You don't wanna miss anything in game. Okay, so we're gonna click done. So once you have it set up, one thing you need to do absolutely is to set a hotkey for it in order to toggle it on and off, because obviously you don't want that thing to be on your screen at all times. So we're going to go to hotkeys and then we're going to set a shortcut for that. So right here at the top, it will say toggle in game overlay, toggle overlay positioning mode. So if you want a hotkey to also be able to position it on the fly, you can also do that. Anyways, we're going to put um, numpad one and numpad two for positioning mode. Okay, let's click done. Let's get to our game. Okay, we're in game. I'm going to press one. And look at that chat. Look at that. We're going to pretend we're in game. I'm going to type something in chat and we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, so I would be in game here playing and basically this is what it would look like at this uh, opacity. Now, if I press two, it brings me back to Streamlabs and then here I can immediately just position them, you know, and then I press two again and now I can go back to my game. Toggle it on and as you can see, it, it moved. Okay. I think it's a little too opaque. I'm, I'm gonna make it a little more transparent. Settings, game overlay. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. The fact that you need to be able to turn it off. Uh, right now it's showing on top of my Streamlabs. I don't want that. There you go. Also, if you're using game capture as your source, well, I'm gonna talk about that a little later, but if you're using game capture as your source, 
to show your game uh like here it won't show that chat this is just for you you're the only one who's gonna see this your stream is not gonna see it on top of it if you want to show your chat on stream it's a whole different thing um you can do it you know you can add like a source that says chat box if that's what you want and event list but technically if you're if you're if you made it this far you should know how uh, sources already work but anyways so we're gonna type some more stuff that's that's great that's perfect i can i can play like that you know this is great i'm not gonna lie this is awesome and i'm dead <laughs> okay <laughs> wow and that's it that's how simple it is to display your chat and your events list on uh in game while you're playing full screen game which is so so awesome for people who only have one monitor okay honestly i believe that even if you have two monitors you can still use this option so you don't have to look around uh for chat i've seen so many small streamers so so focused in the game that they just don't have that reflex of looking at the other monitor to see if someone spoke in chat or if they do it every 25 minutes but miss a bunch of chatters basically <laughs> so i feel like even if you have two monitors this could be a way to ensure that you see everything that's going on no longer streaming requires a, a, a phone a tablet a second monitor to look at your chat at the same time you can play full screen and still have your chat and your events list i'm repeating myself a lot if you haven't started using streamlabs obs yet come on son <laughs> there will be an affiliate link in the description if you download it for free from my link i'm getting a little bit of money and charity is also getting a little bit of money so please please consider it if you're looking for some dope dope overlays you can go to gumroad.com slash gal level i have a bunch of them if i stop if i can stop hitting my mic i have a bunch of them that are free and the rest is just super cheap you can also check out my twitch channel that's twitch.tv slash gal level where i do a show called stream review basically you give me your link and i check out your stream and i give you some feedback on my first impressions of course share this video with someone you know has only one monitor or someone that doesn't look at chat enough and i'm gonna thank you guys so so much for watching i will see you guys later go out there make me proud get level out